welcome to my chemistry channel short and sweet in chemistry bl das i also want to welcome the topic distinction between pair of organic compounds and here i will explain the distinction how can distinguish between two acids here mainly the topic is aldehyde ketone acid but i am giving here importance to acid because aldehyde and ketone already i have explained now what are the main test what are the chemical test by which we can distinguish between two pair of organic compound let us see here if some color changes if a color precipitate are obtained if there is some effervescence takes place if some decolorize something these are the properties these are the observation by which we can differentiate between two uh, organic compounds or pair of organic compounds and here we will see the main characteristics of acid main properties of acid by which we can distinguish between a uh, pair of organic compounds especially uh, in acids and let here with compare to aldehyde and ketone also now see first point for this acids aliphatic and aromatic acid turns blue litmus paper to red you take acetic acid you take a formic acid also benzoic acid also they all have a nature they have nature that uh, blue litmus paper turns to red if any blue litmus paper turns to red any acid that mean it indicates the compound is acid acid only has power either inorganic acid or organic acid that will change blue litmus paper to red and here point 2 all acids when react with sodium hydrogen carbonate it is also known as sodium bicarbonate nahco3 if all acids here what happened will react with sodium hydrogen carbonate and gives carbon dioxide that mean you can observe some reaction takes place that is called effervescence takes place that mean if you take acetic acid or formic acid and add sodium hydrogen carbonate to it then immediately effervescence takes place you can feel that some gases are coming from the acid and goes up inside the test tube in test tube you take that acetic acid or formic acid then add this sodium uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate immediately carbon dioxide evolve then come to here see the reaction it gives the ch3coona what is ch3coona sodium acetate and it is carbon dioxide which can you can observe some reaction takes place some gases are coming out uh, and that what is called effervescence and t.3 only formic acid now the importance given to formic acid because formic acid has nature to uh, give different type of positive test that mean uh, by the help of which we can distinguish between formic acid and other compounds now see formic acid gives silver mirror test what is silver mirror test with tollens reagent you take the compound that mean here formic acid in the test tube and add tollens reagent and heat it immediately silver mirror comes on the inner side of the test tube that means you should heat one otherwise falling uh, sorry tollens reagent will not give so uh, heat this one then what happened silver mirror is there then tip point 4 the, the reaction 4 formic acid gives also with uh, uh, gives the red brown precipitate with felling uh, solution and also benedict with benedict solution that mean formic acid has a nature that will react with felling solution and also uh, that is a benedict solution which gives red brown precipitate but acetic acid will not give or any other acid will not give only formic acid that type of nature and only formic acid decolorize acid 5 kmno4 solution what is kmno4 potassium permanganate what is the color pink color what do you mean by acid 5 potassium uh, potassium permanganate that mean take kmno4 potassium permanganate solution in a test tube and add two drops of acid dilute sulfuric acid that is no it is known as acid 5 kmno4 solution or you can say acid 5 potassium permanganate solution to it add formic acid you know the color of the potassium permanganate is pink color 
when you add the formic acid to it the color immediately decolorize that means in a test tube you take acid fired potassium permanganate solution whose color is pink and to it add formic acid immediately the pink color of the potassium permanganate it become to colorless so it is called decolorize for acidified potassium permanganate solution and that uh, difference between ketones uh, and aldehyde the main part uh, ketones do not give tollens test felling test benzene test suppose i want to uh, differentiate between aldehyde and ketone that mean you can say aldehyde will give uh, that one tollens test felling test and benedict test whereas ketones will not give this type of test and also tollens test all type of aldehyde then benzaldehyde and aliphatic aldehyde all will give the tollens test whereas benzaldehyde never give the test of felling test and benedict test now we will see different type of examples according to the reaction according to the property of the acid now we will see the examples where we can say how can you distinguish between acid and other compounds now example first acetic acid and phenol we know acid will react with sodium hydrogen carbonate and carbon dioxide is the main product and you can say effervescence takes place that is why here you take acetic acid in a test tube and add sodium hydrogen carbonate and the action starts and effervescence takes place and the carbon dioxide is the main product produced and the byproduct sodium acetate and water so you should write phenol does not give this test phenol will never react with sodium hydrogen carbonate and now second example formic acid and acetic acid formic acid acetic acid both are acids so both will react with sodium hydrogen carbonate gives carbon dioxide then what to do formic acid only can be distinguished from acetic acid by the which test tollens test you take tollens reagent uh, that mean you take uh, formic acid test tube or tollens reagent and heat it and you will get a silver mirror shining a silver mirror shining on the inner side of the test tube that mean here formic acid gives silver mirror test whereas acetic acid does not give this test this is only uh, important test by which formic acid can be distinguished by the uh, acetic acid next come to benzoic acid and ethyl benzoate benzoic acid whose formula that formula is c6h5cooh and ethyl benzoate c6h5cooc2h5 that is an ester and how can difference between how can you differentiate between these two pairs now benzoic acid since it is a, an acid so it will react with sodium hydrogen carbonate and give sodium benzoate and carbon dioxide which gas evolve and you feel that some reaction takes place effervescence takes place and so uh, here carbon dioxide evolve but ethyl benzoate when you add a sodium hydrogen carbonate to it there is no reaction no reaction takes place when you add sodium uh, hydrogen carbonate to ethyl benzoate then come to propanoyl chloride and propanoic acid propanoyl chloride propanoic acid that means propanoyl chloride what is the formula ch3 ch2 cocl and here ch3 propanoic acid ch3 ch2 cooh that means you take propanoyl chloride in a test tube and add water then immediate what is the reaction it gives propanoic acid and main important the hydrochloric acid now what to do next you take one glass rod and dip in ammonia and shown to the gas which is evolved in the test tube that means you take test tube and here uh, propanoyl chloride in the test tube and add water immediately gives propanoic acid and hydrochloric acid and that hydrochloric acid is very important here because when you dip 
a glass rod in ammonia and shown to that gas immediately dense white fumes observe what is that dense white fumes that is ammonium chloride that means when propanoic acid you will take in a test tube and add water or after that also there is no test of ammonia when ammonia deep in, uh, in sorry uh, glass rod deep in ammonia and shown to that gas that uh, propanoic acid there is no change but when a add water to propanoyl chloride and immediately a glass or dipped in ammonia and shown to the gas dense white fumes observe whereas propanoic acid will not give this type of this type of test because there is no hydrochloric acid there and here hydrochloric acid is produced that is why it gives dense white fumes and uh, lastly you will write propanoic acid does not give this type of test here see acetic acid and phenol you can test the you can take the test uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate formic acid and acetic acid here you take tollens reagent benzoic acid and ethyl benzoate so benzoic acid will react with sodium hydrogen carbonate propanoyl chloride and propanoic acid propanoyl chloride on hydrolysis give HCl which gives dense white fumes with ammonia so uh, this is these are the important test and these are the important distinction between pair of organic compounds next we will see other examples also now we will see the next example ethanol and methanoic acid ethanol and methanoic acid here methanoic acid what is the formula hcooh i told methanoic acid will give silver mirror test what is that silver mirror test you will treat methanoic acid with tollens reagent and heat it it will give uh, silver mirror on the inner side of the test tube now ethanol does not give this test that mean uh, only methanoic acid will give the test uh, that is silver mirror test and ethanol does not give this test then come to methyl acetate and ethyl acetate now you can see on hydrolysis what happened to this type of esters on hydro both are esters on hydrolysis both are giving alcohol now this methyl acetate give only methyl alcohol whereas ethyl acetate gives ethyl alcohol that means any ester on hydrolysis give acid and alcohol whereas methyl acetate gives acetic acid and methyl alcohol and ethyl acetate gives acetic acid and ethyl alcohol we know ethyl alcohol gives iodoform test whereas methyl alcohol does not give any iodoform test that means here see ethyl acetate what is the formula CH3COOC2H5 or you can say CH2CH3 CH3COOCH2CH3 on hydrolysis this part gives acid and this part gives alcohol that is ethyl alcohol we know ethyl alcohol gives iodoform test so treat with NaOH and I2 it gives iodoform that is yellow precipitate and these are other byproducts that means here methyl acetate never gives iodoform test whereas ethyl acetate gives iodoform test when when the compound is uh, esters are treated with water then after that you can do iodoform test only uh, ethyl acetate gives iodoform test but here you should write but CH3COOCH3 that is methyl acetate does not give the iodoform test or you can say does not give this test. Then come to T.7 that is very important. You know aldehyde and ketone both contain the carbonyl group. Aldehyde also contain carbonyl group and ketone also contain carbonyl group. Well, where the carbonyl group is present or not, how can we know? By the test 2 for dinitrophenyl hydrogen test. Well, that means aldehyde containing CO group uh, and uh, ketone contain the CO group. When both this aldehyde or ketone, when you treat with 2,4-nitrophenyl 
2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine and heat it, you will get orange color precipitate. That means here uh, the orange color precipitate forms, you are sure that it is an aldehyde or maybe one type of uh, ketone. Ketone or aldehyde, how can you know? If you treat 2, 4 dinitrophenyl hydrogen, it gives orange color precipitate. In a marriage, one example you can see propanone and ethanol. Ethanol, there is no CO group, carbonyl group. This is called carbonyl group. The COO, this is called carbonyl group. Now, ethanol does not contain any carbonyl group where in this question propanone CH3COCH3 it contains carbonyl group that is why this uh, acetone or you can say propanone when react with 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrogen it gives orange color precipitate that is 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrogen derivative. And here ethanol does not give this test. Why? Because eth ethanol does not contain any carbonyl group. It contains one OH hydroxyl group. Again see ethanol methanoic acid. Methanoic acid by the Tollens reagent it can be distinguished. Methyl acetate and ethyl acetate this can be distinguished by the addition of water than the iodoform test whereas this ethyl acetate gives the positive test. Now, uh, tip point 7 that is very important, carbonyl group where it is present, it reacts with 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrogen and gives red, orange color precipitate, sorry, orange color precipitate so that we can know, yes, that is carbonyl group is present. And now example, propanone and ethanol, where propanone contains CO group, ethanol does not contain, that is why propanone gives orange color precipitate on treating with 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrogen. I hope uh, the distinction between pair of organic compounds that is aldehyde, ketone and acid and also acid derivative, it is clear and if, I, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel Sort and Sweet in Chemistry BL Das. Thank you all. Next time you will see, I will explain in the coming video uh, that is uh, amine.